This is the Friday Afternoon Kiss OV Like Network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie, K1GZL, is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, a uh, beautiful copy. You're running 9 to 10 over direct, as we don't have an SDR capability here. Uh, it's mostly uh, cloudy, and uh, the temperature out is 46 degrees here on the 1st of October, 2021, and the leaves are 80% uh, uh, change. We are 80% of, we are approaching full, uh, full amount of color. Uh, if you copy all right, I did, I did uh, just a few hours ago talk to Captain Mike uh, in first on 40 meters, no, uh, no, first on 20, then on 40, and I've got him right now on 40 and also on the ramp, and I picked him up just south of Cleveland, Ohio, no, no, northern Indiana, northern Indiana on 40, and uh, signed off with them just before he hit the Pennsylvania border south and east of Cleveland. And then uh, maybe I'll back up a little and get him this morning when he was out toward Nebraska. So uh, if you copy all right, I'll go ahead with Captain Mike. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Charlie, you're 25 over in uh, Milford. Over in uh, Milford. Okay, and uh, here is Captain Mike. This is on 40 meters. Great, everybody in the group there. Nice to meet you there, Mike. And uh, sure, I'm not hearing you better there, Kelly. Um, we're uh, just now about 50, 50 miles, 55 miles south uh, west of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, at uh, 37,000, uh, with uh, 390 miles uh, from uh, Philadelphia. And uh, we're showing five, five, 460 uh, knots here, 460 at the moment. But uh, look forward to hearing you again later on, uh, Charlie. And again, sorry, Kelly, I'm not hearing you. And uh, 73 to everyone else in the uh, group there. Uh, well, I'll put it back to you there, uh, Charlie, and uh, you can wrap it up there. Uh, K1GZL from KX4 Whiskey, Charlie. 73 guys. Okay, here we go to the ramp. Yeah, I was up on 37 there, and I heard you on 35 there. Yeah, great copy. We're about three minutes early, and uh, sitting here on the uh, ramp here in Philly, we're uh, facing north, and uh, upper side band, 40 meters. Great hearing you, Charlie. K1 G's at L from KX4 with you, Charlie. Take care of that someday there. But, uh, yeah, solid copy, Charlie. Go ahead. Okay, now well, let me back up a little bit and catch them on 20 meters. Uh, 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 earlier, in other words, about uh, after 11 o'clock, uh, between 11 and noon. Here he is. Uh, he knows more about these antennas than anybody. Uh, says they're, you know, omnidirectional, and there shouldn't be any difference. But uh, it's uh, hard for me to answer that question. But uh, anyway, uh, maybe you could uh, elaborate on that on the next go around there. I'll hand it over to Kelly and see if he's still here. Okay. Okay. There was a contact station there. Uh, go ahead uh, with the contact. Charlie, well, 73 to everybody in the group there. Nice to meet you there, Mike. And uh, sure, I'm not hearing you better there, Kelly. Um, we're uh, just now about 50, 50 miles, 55 miles south uh, west of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, at uh, 37,000. Okay, uh, I'm, uh, I didn't go back far enough, but okay, my, uh, Jim, I'll turn it right uh, back to you. We're at uh, 37,000 here. We're okay. Now here's 20. Again, we should be on the ground at about 2 o'clock. So, uh, KX4, Charlie, well, uh, over to you, Charlie. K1, you can help that 73. And west of uh, Fort, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have an indicator on this uh, uh, recorder uh, to uh, tell where to go back, and that uh, uh, I couldn't, uh, it was back further uh, where he was really banging in uh, 20 meters uh, from uh, over Nebraska and uh, into uh, eastern Iowa. So let me turn it back to you, Jim. I'm sorry I made such a, a long one. KC9VKV, K1GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Now, uh, how much uh, is he noisy uh, when he's on the ground? Is he noisy uh, when he's on the ground? Uh, uh, how much what, uh, Jim? I was just curious if he's very noisy when he's uh, landed on the ground and taxing around on the ground. Around and taxing around on the ground. Uh, no, uh, that seems to be very, very clear. 
uh, very clear. Of course, he has uh, earphones on, uh, earphones on, and uh, there was uh, just about no noise at all. My antenna does not favor Philadelphia very well at all. Uh, I don't have that much RF going down there, but uh, but uh, the propagation was extremely good uh, on uh, 40 meters. But he does not uh, you know, have, uh, receive receiving noise. Uh, on the ground, and he was, uh, uh, had part, he had part, and uh, the nose of the plane was uh, pointed north. What I think is happening, uh, I think, and of course, his antenna is only uh, an eight-foot piece of wire. That's all he's got there, and he's running a 400-watt uh, uh, output, some kind of a Collins uh Transmitter. They only operate uh, upper sideband. Uh, I think is uh, probably happening. Uh, is RF coming off of the antenna is reflecting off the top of the plane as the wire is uh, on the uh, slanting uh, the tail of the uh, plane. Uh, just that eight foot piece of wire. And it's reflecting, uh, uh, you know, like a reflector off the top of the plane. So even when he's on the ground, he does a little better uh, when he's pointed as reasonably close in my direction. And also aloft, uh, when he's flying, he seems to be a little bit stronger uh, uh, when he's going east. Uh, when he goes west, I think there must be a loss of at least five, uh, maybe eight dB or so. Uh, but uh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting in how it all works out. And what you can do with practically no antenna at all. Of course, he had the altitude there. But here he is. Uh, here he was a week ago uh, out in Sacramento, California, uh, sitting on the ground and. Uh, uh, and on uh, 20 meters, he was actually running over S9, over S9, a beautiful uh, signal uh, on the on the ground in Sacramento, the capital of California, KC9VKV, K1GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, most excellent, sir. Well, we appreciate your reports. They are uh, most interesting always uh, to hear aeronautical uh, communications. Roger. Aeronautical. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Look, Jim, I'll let you go. And I want to thank you very much for allowing me to come aboard. And we should, barring anything unforeseen, <laughs> uh, we sh uh, uh, like a sudden appointment I have, which I did not count on. Well, I don't think so, though. Uh, I'll, I'll see you uh, uh, next Friday. Uh, and this, uh, of course, uh, was the 1st of October, 2021. KC9VKV, K1GZL, putting out about 950 watts. Uh, always a pleasure. Roger, Roger, Charlie, 73 up that way, sir. You have a great uh, afternoon, a beautiful weekend, and we'll look forward to uh, uh, speaking with you uh, next uh, Friday, hopefully, if uh, all conditions uh, are okay and the creeks don't rise and all that stuff. So, 73, sir. This is the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. My name is Jim, Juliet India Mike. And uh, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV, and we are recording now live till 5. So uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Radio you want to check out, give me a shout.